everyone, my name is Domi Autobots and welcome to my YouTube channel and today I'm going to be re reviewing a figure you've probably seen a shit ton of shorts of and um yeah so you're probably wondering what am I doing, what am I going to be reviewing, well if you haven't seen the title, yep I'm reviewing a masterpiece figure, this is the MPM7 uh, Bumblebee movie Bumblebee, now I've had this for a very long time, I got it, the yeah, it was released for Christmas. It has seen better days. Um, it's got it cracked. This is cracked, sadly, and uh, I know it was hard to capture on camera, but my my nephew got a hold of it and uh, did all that to him. But hey, I mean, he's still fine. He's still great. Um, everything still holds together. He still transforms. The paint is chipped the hell again because my nephew. But um. He's a kid. I don't really care, but eh, who cares? Um, but yeah, this guy was great. Uh, he still is available on the Big Bad Toy Store, so these pre-orders are outsold. But eh, but he, they probably have him on Showsy Store, all that other stuff. So yeah, if you want to pick him up, go ahead. I'm waiting. Hopefully, I mean, I'm thinking about getting that trans crap Bumblebee because I mean, it looks good, and that yellow park Bumblebee looks fucking god tier. I saw the Studio Series one yesterday. Um, and I'm thinking of picking up that. I went and saw Rise of the Beast, so I already said it, and it was, it was a masterpiece. Mirage was my favorite, Bumblebee was my favorite, and Optimus was my favorite. Might do a review of spoilers, might not, who knows. But anyways, on to the figure. So this guy looks fantastic. You can see all the great details. Not my zit acne face. But I'm trying to autofocus. You see the great details. They actually painted his eyes here. Which is awesome. So you can see his eyes there. Uh, and he also has uh, a very great detail around. The feet are die cast metal. And that is really nice. And the detail on the bottom of the feet is even awesome. Super cool that we got that detail. Um, now I have one problem with the figure. Now this was released before. Um, I don't know if that focus. There we go. This was released before. The actual official CGA model was released. So this is what Takara had to work with. Same with the Studio Series 18 Bumblebee, which I have. But I bought this guy to replace that because that fucking thing broke. So, and this was a good replacement. Yeah, it doesn't scale well with Shatter and Dropkick. But eh, who gives a fuck? This guy's great. And he has seen a lot of years. I got this back in... I think it was 2018, 2019 when this came out. I'm not sure. But anyways, it's a great, great figure. And I've taken good care of him. Unlike that Masterpiece Hot Rod. Uh, trying to, it turns out that thing was a knockoff. The one that I got. That Hot Rod that I showed off. I think once or twice maybe. Yeah, it turns out that was a fucking knockoff. And I'm still devastated about it. Because that was the last gift I ever got from uh, someone who's no longer uh, with us. Um... Yeah, but I still keep the hot rod just because it's the last thing I actually have of him. But, uh, yeah, so this is a great... But anyways, on to this guy. This guy is just fantastic. I paid $70 for this guy. And I don't even know if this is a knockoff. I mean, you guys can tell me in the comments if this is the knockoff or the official. I think it's the official. The box looked official. The figure feel felt official. Um, everything feels masterpiece great. Everything feels great. Um... And tabs together. I think it's the. I think it's an official. I always get confused with. I always try to be very cautious when shopping for a masterpiece and neck on Amazon because I can last. You can get knockoffs and it, it fucking sucks. But anyways, this guy's great. So um, yeah, we're gonna work on this possibility. So possibility. Excuse me. Sorry about that. All right. So possibility. He's got a full articulation. At the arm, so he's got full rotation in the back. He always gets in the way. He's got moving shoulder pads so that accompanies for a nice degree of movement. And then you can bend at the arm. The wrist is on a hinge and a swivel. He's got individual fingers so he can do this. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. I have to do this. This is this one's for all the cancel culture and the haters out there. <laughs> This is perfect. 
him flip. I mean, it's not the best, but I mean, it's still fucking funny. It's so fucking funny. He did it in that movie. He didn't do that in my big and shitty argument. Um, I fucking love that. And I always wanted to do that with the individual hand transformer. So, <laughs> um, he does have a waist swivel. He has a waist joint. Um, the doors are on like triple hinges, so you can get a great degree of motion with these. And I gotta unplug the accessories here. I gotta get the accessories off. My bad. Should have done that for the review. My bad. And then yeah, because this thing never likes to tap together. You can get a really good degree of motion with the doors here. Uh, the missile pods are the chest. Those things are articulated because he's got the missiles. So there's that. Um, legs are on ratchet joints. He can kick forward that far, back that far. He actually, I don't think I've seen anyone touch on this, but I, he has a double jointed knee. That's also ratchet ratcheted, which is awesome. Wish everything on the sky was ratcheted because I love, I love, I love ratchet joints. He's got a very deep ankle pivot. Can kind of go out that way. And then he also has a toe bend. Can only go up. It cannot go down. I mean, if you want it to. And yeah, so he's got great posability and he can hold things like you saw in the YouTube shows. He was playing the guitar. I thought that was cool and I'm surprised that actually got really good feedback as it did. Now, his accessories, he comes with his. Battle mask. Oh, shit. He comes with this uh, battle mask. He comes with a this sword. With the Cybertronian on it. Looks great. And then he comes with his cannon, which is my favorite accessory. Now, all this is very easy to store on. So, uh, equip. So, you flip up his fingers. And then you slide the three into the cannon. And then you fold in the thumb. And then what this is basically just going to do is this is just going to rotate down and this is just going to connect and there yeah oh no it didn't connect there it goes and then there is the cannon all good to go and ready to go sword pretty easy it just has a port on his hand that it literally just connects to and then the mask is really cool so you don't rip off the head you actually flip up this piece on the head Remove this, and then you take the mask, you put it on, and there he is, ready to go kick Shatter and drop kick's ass. Yeah, it looks great. It looks really good. And also, the back is not the best, but I mean, eh, who cares? Um, I'm just grinding the transformation, man. So, with the, I'm just going to kind of walk you guys through it. I'm going to talk about some things I do not like with it, like I always do, and um, yeah. You can transform with the battle mask, but I wouldn't recommend it because it is a bitch to do. And you also risk breaking it, so that's why I just did it with the normal head. Alright, so transformation. Dear Lord, help us. So you're going to fold up the fingers in a very specific orientation like that. Again, fold these up in a very specific orientation. They should be able to fold down on top of the fingers, and if they are like that, then you did it. Okay, so then this piece here is just going to... Pieces on the back of the forearms are just going to swing out. And we don't rotate them yet. So you're going to swing these out. Get these out of the way. And now we're going to come to... You're just going to swing his hands up. It just makes your life so much easier if you do it like this. Come to the back of the legs. You're going to come in here. You're going to flip up the bumper. Split this whole back of the VW from everything. You're going to come to the leak. You're going to tab this die cast metal. Tuck that in. Flip up the bottom of the shin. Fold in this little piece. And you're almost done with that. Take the wheel, flip it out, take this whole section here, and you're going to just take the whole foot section, close it up, collapse the heel, and same on the other side. Let me do that real quick. Done. Power of editing, bitches. Kidding. Then you're just going to connect the, hang, the feet. Like so. It can be very tricky, but it is very easy to do. So once you just get that, you're going to squeeze that in there. And then the feet are ready to go. Come to the bob body. You're going to swing this out. Flip up the swing. This is how I do it if you want to know how to do it easy. Flip up the swing again. Just do it like that. And just leave it like that for right now. Come to the back. Unplug everything. Get out this whole section here. Come to the arms. You're going to pull them down. down. Swing them around on this, on this hinge. And then you're going to leave that up. And then you're going to leave this up like so. Just like that. 
do the same thing on the other side. Same verse, just like the first, but I always like using that phrase. And then you're gonna come in here and you want to tab these together. Come on, bitch. Work with me. There we go. Gotta keep in mind that baby's sleeping. Then you need to take this. This is just going to snap lower down. Then you need to come in here and you're gonna tab these pieces, the side pieces, to the back. Yeah. This right one never likes to tab in for me, and I fucking hate it. Get in there. Get in there, bitch. There you go. Full swoop down the back and leave the back unfolded and untabbed. Kind of. Then you're going to take the hands, shift them down at the wrists, and they're just going to line up, and they're going to sit like that, line up, swoop in that. Okay, come to the body. You're going to swing up these. You're going to fold up these little pieces here. Do this on the other side. Come to the head. You're going to untab it, and you're going to pull this whole chest assembly up. Come to the here, you come to the back, you're going to swing this out, you're going to take these little bumper pieces. Oh, I actually didn't fall off that time. Thank you, B. You're going to fold this up, take the head, and it's going to swoop up into there. You're going to bring the back, you're going to bring the front down, you're going to connect up these chest pieces up to here. Just like that, motherfucker. Okay, did I make sure this is not for your kids 13 or older? Wait, 13 or younger. Fuck! I suck at, I suck at math. I failed math. Take these, fold these down. These guys are just going to come up and they're going to snap in. Just like so. Come on, you bitch. Come on. There you go. Take the hood, snap it down. Here, a nice squeeze. Come to the back. You're going to fold these up again. I do this because it makes it easier on me. Take these, shift these doors in. Make sure the back is collapsed and ready for connection. Take this, shift this up. Take this, shift that in, and then you're just going to connect everything. It's harder than it looks, trust me. The same. Take this, snap that in. Motherfucker refuses to work with me. Okay, there you go. If that comes undone, just snap it. Take Together again. I don't know if that's something the masterpiece does. I don't know if this is on again, but again, I don't care. Take this, shift this in, snap that all in. Again, fold this down. Snap it in. And just snap that all in, line that up. Snap that in. Come to the hood, and you're going to fold it up, and you're done. Just kidding, now. What, uh, this transformation actually is fun once you get the hang of it. I've been practicing for a long time. And I can say that this is fun to do. Now I come to this. I'm going to put this here. Jesus Christ, it has been going on for 13 minutes. Take this, and there you go. This just plugs into the exhaust on the back. If that falls off, I'm sorry, but fuck this piece. Oh, I hate this. There you go. There is the vehicle mode all complete. It is a 19-something Volkswagen Beetle. I don't know what this is. This, this came out in the 1900s. What the fuck? I don't know what this is, actually. I am very hell-bent on what this could be, what year this is. But I know this is a Beetle because my mom said she can get this car. Uh, details, again, scuffed, scratched up because family member. Um, I'm kidding, that wasn't family member. It was me. I was filming a stop motion, and uh, I accidentally dropped it. And, uh, yeah, I was joking about that. Sorry if you're watching this. <laughs> My nephew. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, very good. He actually has some very old weathering going down the sides here. And that just looks fantastic. You can see that on the whole car. Even the front and the back. Kind of doesn't show it. I do like the blue window tint. At least they actually it hides all the shit. Unlike the black mamba version. Um, it rolls if you transform it. It rolls actually very smooth. I think these are rubber tires. They look plastic but they feel rubber. Plastic rubber? I don't know. But then again, this is great. No opening door gimmick. Sadly, but I don't care. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to transform this guy, and then we'll do that. What an awesome figure, and what a fun transformation. This was the living hell to do. Thank God for editing. 
Um, my final thoughts, get this, get this, get this, get this. This is a great MP, great figure for that substitute of that fucking Studio Series 1. If you like the Studio Series 1, want something to scale, get the Studio Series 1. Want something more complex and something cool and something, like, tricky and complex? There you go. Um, I wasn't really expecting to do a review today. This was literally me. Um, I wonder what I'm going to review today. I know. Yeah, this was, that was me. Um, but, uh, yeah, this guy was great. Um, other besides all the damage he had, I, I've been taking good care of him. He's just seen a lot. I've had him since th he was released. I got him the year he was released for Christmas, I believe, I think. Because my Bumblebee, other Bumblebee broke. And my parents saw a friend of, my, of theirs, a family friend of theirs, actually have this one. And they're like, where'd you get that? And they gave them that. And they're like, oh, my son will like this. And I fell in love with this. I like this thing so much more than MP28. That knockoff piece of shit one. So, yeah, this guy was uh, great. He was fantastic. He was, I actually know that was in the knockoff. That was the actual figure. Shit. And this guy was fun. I enjoyed doing the review for this. This has probably been my longest review I've ever done. Probably my second longest. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all your support lately. The Optimus Prime last night in Megatron review got 400 something views. That is insane. I never ever thought in a million years that would be my new popular video. Thank you guys also for all the support on the shorts. And we're almost to 400 subs. So if you can hit that subscribe button. And if you're new to the channel, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we'll, I'll be, I got some fun playing for our 400 subscriber special, man. So yeah, take care. Have a good one. This is Dylan Autobot signing out.